Today's one of those days that car enthusiasts love. It's new project day. And when I say new project, it's actually gonna be a new project for CJs, but not necessarily a new project. So a few years ago, uh, a good friend of mine who actually bought Gotta Have It Race at one point, her father was looking to have a 69 Mustang restored. And I recommended a shop at the time that was able, you know, I thought was able to help her. And he basically got overwhelmed with a bunch of other projects and it got thrown aside. Uh, so I ended up picking up the car for him and I started on it, you know, tore the car down, stripped everything down. Uh, we sent it off to Peterson Restorations. You probably remember the video we did on him a couple years ago. And he did all the sheet metal work. And this was 2020, kind of right when COVID was starting. But he did all the sheet metal work, got it back to me. Uh, and then we took it up to GCR to have it painted. Now GCR has painted uh, my 93 Cobra. They painted all of our SEMA builds. They've been painting for us for years. So we dropped this car off. Um, and yeah, that was three years ago uh, that it's been up there. I mean, you, you've heard the term paint jail and this was every bit of it. And, uh, you know, GCR has been good to us. You know, definitely not to bash them at all, but they ended up moving locations. And with COVID, they had some employees go in and out. And unfortunately, the car just kept putting, get put off, getting put off, getting put off. And it's been there, like I said, going on three years now. But the good news is it's done. So uh, we're on our way up there right now to pick this car up and we're gonna make it a CJ project to put it back together. And I know you a lot of guys have been asking for classic content and this car is gonna fit that bill perfectly. Uh, so a little background on the car, it is a, it's a 69 Fastback. Um, it was originally, I believe a six cylinder car, might have been a 302 two barrel, but it was a base, base Fastback. But it's being redone as a Mach 1, uh, it's the color, is badass we'll show it to you when we get there i'm not going to spoil it uh but it is as i said it is a resto mod so we're not looking for original it's styled after a mach 1 we're going to go for that look uh, under the hood we're going to have a gen 2 coyote uh, ralph supercharger backed by a tremic transmission uh, full suspension from total control so it's going to be their their nine inch rear their coilover setup front and back their whole the whole nine yards wait till you guys see the suspension it is it is very, very cool. Uh, you know, 17 inch wheels, all the modern stuff, you know, to make it a nice, cool cruiser, but it's gonna, you know, we're gonna keep enough of that vintage look without going overboard. The body is pretty much stock. Uh, it is a custom color, but it's styled after the Mach 1 graphics wise. And, you know, we have most of the trim darkened out, but we are keeping the chrome bumpers. So it, it'll, it'll definitely have that, that right classic look but with everything modern underneath. So it, it, it should be an amazing car. And yeah, we're gonna let you guys follow along as uh, we put it back together. What do you guys think of Project Kona? The color came out beautiful. Obviously, it's Kona Blue, a popular color on the S197 and the S550 Mustang. This car is gonna be a long-term project here at CJ's. We're gonna take you through the entire rebuild of this car from the shell it is currently to a running and driving resto mod Mustang. Now, obviously, you can see the killer paint and the BG Rodworks wheels. On our next video, we're gonna go over what's been done so far and explain the whole plan for the build.